Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, this is Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday, May 15th. Gerard Butler, he's a hottie, right? Well, he is maybe facing a little bit of jail time. He's been charged with misdemeanor criminal battery after punching a photographer in the mouth a good three or four times, left him with a split lip. Now, Gerard's reps are saying the photographer was asking for it. He was stalking Gerard in a movie premiere a few months ago and chasing people down the street. Of course, the paparazzi saying, I'm completely innocent of all this. Now, according to his dad, Madonna and her boy toy, Jesus Luz, are sort of kind of getting married, but not really. It's a Kabbalah ceremony that will be recognized by the religion, but will not be recognized legally. He says, though, he doesn't know for sure if a real marriage is in the works, but that his son is very happy, and that's all he cares about right now. Gabe Saporta has Pete Wentz to thank, not only for making them famous. Actually, Gabe gave me credit for that, but that's beside the point. Gabe decided, you know what, I need to pee really bad and don't have time to make it to a bathroom, so he went outside, somebody called the cops, and. Pete, being the stand-up friend that he is, took the rap for it, flashed his beautiful smile, and everybody walked away free from that. And plus, Gabe's a really cool Twitter if you want to follow him. It's not Gabriel Saporta. Kristen Cavallari is replacing Lauren Conrad on The Hills when it comes back for season six. She says she's pretty much game for anything. She knows how this thing works. She knows it's all about drama and the excitement she can bring to the show. She doesn't know what scenarios are going to throw her into what relationships are going to try to steer her toward, and she doesn't really care. She's all about giving people good entertainment. Now, she does make her first appearance on the show at the season finale of season five, which is May 31st, and guess who catches the bouquet at Heidi and Spencer's wedding? And speaking of Heidi and Spencer, Spencer went on his Twitter and posted his cell phone number. It was actually some sort of like a text message spam thing where he'd start text messaging you, some, I guess, a way to raise money somehow. Well, Miley Cyrus actually fell for it, and she even posted on his uh, Twitter that she was a little bit upset about being duped. Now she's getting all these fake te text messages from Spencer, and he was so shocked that she even bothered to call. He was upset. He said, here's my real cell phone number. I want to take you on a double date, you and your boyfriend Justin, with me and Heidi. It'll be great. And Miley says she's up for it. So we'll see if there's a new bestest buddies couples thing to report about come Monday morning. And that's your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday.